刚才，开进去。你也去管啦，要不放枪了吧？哎，陈警，等我一阵子。好嘞。有事慢慢管，我他妈干啥子呀？唔系，爸爸，白冰地，你点闹？ Make up your mind. Either quit shoving or quit pulling. This is the last stop. Allah be praised for always providing new women. I saw her first. Let's not forget that. Next time I go out with you, I'll bring a telescope. Next time you go out with me, bring along another face. Let's divide the work evenly. You take on the armed forces of justice, and uh, I'll tackle the girl. That battle plan of yours has never worked to my advantage yet. All roads lead to Shanghai, but uh, not everyone is welcome so officially. Why are you heading this procession? Did you uh, spit in his eye, my little Lotus? Lotus, my foot. They're taking me to the cooler. I ran out of whatever they use around here for money. That's serious. What put you in hock? I had to roost in his coop. First class Chinese hotel, if you don't care what first class means. And all of a sudden, he handed me a bill with more seals on it than a marriage license. It added up to 80 yin yang, or two wheelbarrows full of copper cash. I don't believe in carrying money with me, but uh, fortunately, my fat friend is an expert at squeeze. Squeeze who? I wouldn't like to be squeezed by him. I can see you're new to our shores. Squeeze is an old Chinese tribute, popular in your country under the name of graft. Ever heard of it? You're an American, aren't you? Sure, if Brooklyn is still in America. Come hiding, I don't Gentlemen, excuse me. I beg your pardon. A wonderful fertilizer. Money? I want you to meet an old friend. Uh, Dixie Pomeroy, Prospect Park. Percival Montgomery Howe, Shanghai. What do I do now? Nothing, my little pigeon. But if you'll step into my magnificent hearse, you might have enough to do before the evening is over. <laughs> The boss looks you over. I thought the gentleman in the uh, black nightgown was the boss. Old money bags. He's an errand boy. Like myself. The real boss is a remarkable lady. The most cold-blooded dragon you will ever meet. She'll devour you like a cat swallows a mouse. Yeah? That only makes me more hungry. When do we eat? I'll have the chef send you up a brace of thousand-year-old eggs. Do you like them soft? Or scrambled?
Marcel. Space, dead, right. Unless you collect rhinestones. Haven't you something of value, monsieur? Only this. What a gold mine! Oh, catchy, plenty fish that night. Making money chop chop. <laughs> oh, if these pilferers, these crooks around here, and any trust me for a moment, I can show them how an honest man that's skip Shanghai in a hurry. It's things like these that can make a girl move any day in the week and in any direction. <laughs> One piece of emerald, you like it? One PC paycheck. Allah, Allah. Allah is great. What about this corner? Well, Victoria, did I promise too much? Isn't this place marvelous? Look at those faces. Half of them are Eurasians. Who said never the twain shall meet? Java, Sumatra, Hindu, Chinese, Portuguese, Filipinos, Russians, Malayan. What a witch's Sabbath. If anyone saw us coming in here, I'd certainly hear plenty. The other places like kindergartens compared with this. It smells so incredibly evil. I didn't think such a place existed, except in my own imagination. Has a ghastly familiarity, like a half-remembered dream. Anything could happen here. Any moment. Look at that Arabian or whatever he is. I wonder. Does he sleep in his bed? Turn this into gold for me. Who's that female over there? What female? I say he is marvelous. Wouldn't he look wonderful falling off an Arabian charger? He's not the type that falls from a horse. What do you think he is? What do we drink? Boy! What do they drink here? Brandy and sulfur. I wouldn't recommend it. I wouldn't drink it if you did. Can you make a plant this time? There isn't a bartender within 3,000 miles who can make one, except myself. How would you like it? A la Martinique? Jamaica? Virgin Islands? Or Trinidad? Jamaica, don't you think? Where are you from? Wherever I can get a passport from. You sound Russian. Is that your country? I have no country. And the more I see of countries, the better I like the idea. Regarde. Good evening, Commissioner. Nice to see you again, sir. I forgot to phone for a reservation. Can you find a quiet table for us? In here, sir. He means quiet for China. <laughs> this way, sir. This is an unexpected pleasure, Commissioner. I've already notified the boss. One piece of table, chop chop. My name is Caesar Hawkins, in charge of the cash. Alas, the frightful risk for the bonding company. A little space, please. Uh, no hurry. Take your time. Uh... That's right. Take your time. 
Jackson, this is Mr. Montgomery Howe, the connoisseur of jewelry and uh, other lovely things. This is Mr. Jackson. He specializes in music and law. <laughs> <laughs> This is Dr. Omar, Mr. Jackson. Spread your carpet, old boy, and slip me four aces. I cheated everything except cards. Then she one piece of poker deck, chop, chop. Yes, Mr. Hawkins, any refreshments for your guests? Yes, six whiskey soda, chop ice, chop, chop. These confounded Asiatics insist on trying to speak English. <laughs> Pit boy, some water. Water? It'll kill him. He's not used to it. Vodka. Let's get out of here. It's only someone trying to shoot himself. It's Saturday night. I say, this sort of thing isn't common, is it? You, Boris. I thought we were good friends. Why do you choose my place as a springboard to the upper air? Why don't you go home and attend to your little formalities there? Sorry. I lost my head for a moment. You nearly lost it permanently. Give him 5,000 and let him continue. That's for you. La partie continue. You. Somebody give me a cigarette. Gentlemen, excuse the slight disturbance, Commissioner. Oh, you can't call that a slight disturbance. You shouldn't have returned his gun to him. Why not? How can you stop a man from killing himself? They're recommending vitamin B1 this season. This is Jackson, our new legal counsel. And this is Monsieur de Michaud, number one man of our bank. I'm overwhelmed. What are we playing? Poker? Anything wild? Only the joker, Mother. We don't feel very, very enterprising this evening. Gold. gold, of course. Cards, my fellow pilgrims. Three ladies, if possible. One would be too much for me. <laughs> Give me a king. He's sure to get a queen. Nuts always come to those who have no teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Three, please. I still prefer aces. I'll play these. Two hundred more. 
Last time we played commissioner, you lost quite a little. Oh, I quite forgotten that. It's so long ago. But I did come here tonight to win it back. Win or lose, my humble house is always yours. It's too bad she came here to tell you that you'll have to close your humble house. You know how awkward we must feel about this, but you'll either have to close or move into the Chinese city. And 200? I'm not leaving the international settlement, you know that. Not all Chinese are like me, there are some decent ones. If I stepped that much across the line, they'd sell me for pork. The idea is childish. Who would visit us in the Chinese city? Well, look here, Mother. We are nothing but messengers. Rather than send you a formal notice cancelling your lease, I came here as a friend. Don't make it more difficult than it is. Tell me, for whom are you speaking? Not for yourself. I see no reason for concealing it. It's the India China Trading Company. Every so often, Shanghai decides to clean itself like a swan in a muddy lake. I shall not move, and I certainly shall not close. But you'll be forced to close. This is not a moral crusade, which might be easier for you to oppose than big business. You must. Close. Big business? What do you call this? By the way, an ordinance is being passed next week outlawing this and similar establishments. I've lived by my own ordinances for a long time now, but I intend to disregard all others. Oh, you waiting to see my hand? Small flush, jack high. Here's another house no one can beat. Ace is full. One thing more, we are appointing new police commissioner also. Have you been instructed to make me move tonight? But we know you need five or six weeks to make other arrangements. Until about Chinese New Year's then? That's right, Chinese New Year. You've delivered the message, gentlemen. I promise to think it over. Is there anything else I can do? I told them you would be reasonable. Now tell me. Who is that wonderful-looking creature over there? I'll be glad to introduce you. Until Chinese New Year, then? That's right. Chinese New Year. Here comes the warlord of the Chinese underworld, straight for us. I am Mother Jinsling. This is my place. I hope you will find in it everything you desire. May I introduce Monsieur de Michaud? Will you be kind enough to give me your name? My name is Smith. Poppy Smith. And this is my brother. Your name is not Smith, and he is not your brother. That's beastly clever of you. I say, I've always wanted to meet you, Mother Ginsling. It's awfully nice of you to join us. I promised Mr. Smith a thrill, and by Jove, here it is. What do you have? Thank you. I don't drink. You don't drink, Mother Ginsling. Is your name Chinese or English? Indeed, Ginsling is English. It's a nickname as common in this part of the world as the drink sold over the counter. But why Ginsling? Why not whiskey soda? There was a girl called Whiskey Soda, too. And another one called Miss Martini. And one called Scotch Highball, and another Benedictine. In other places, I might have been called Rose, or Violet, or Lily, or even Poppy. Excuse me, I have work to do. When you asked for it, Poppy, Find out who that Smith girl is. I like her. She has spirit. Right, her. Huh? I thought I knew everyone in Shanghai, Miss Puppy. You must have arrived quite recently. Just last week, Monsieur. I've heard so much about your wicked city. I've wanted to see it all my life. Oh, I've lived here for 27 years now. If there's anything you want to do or see, I'm at your disposal. Needless to say, with the greatest personal enthusiasm. There's something you can do for me right now, Monsieur. I've always wanted to meet a Chinese gentleman. 
that one at your table, for instance? Oh, he's no gentleman. He's a compador. You don't want to meet him. What's wrong with that? Don't you like yachts? Not Commodore, but Comprador. A go-between carries water on both shoulders without spilling any. Takes money from both sides. Try for shady one, was it? You'll protect me, monsieur. I'd love to meet him. Soyez gentil. Ah, uh, bien, vous parlez français? Oh, alors vous connaissez la France. Nous parlons le français plus tard. What's up? We'll speak French later. Ah, uh, bon, ça va, ça va. What are you up to, Victoria? I could have introduced you to a Chinese gentleman. Run along and phone that I'll be late. They might become uneasy. <laughs> um, I'm waiting to see the boss. How long before she turns up? Me no savvy English. You'll savvy if you listen closely for a minute. Big shot. Number one man. I mean, number one woman. You know what a woman is? Woman. 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 What do I mean? I'm going to go to the house. 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 Yeah, uh, I guess you're right. I, uh, I better wait. Hmm. This is Mr. Howe, one of our more influential merchants. I was influential. I was, but I'm retired now, if you please. Retired. And I have five wives, also retired. And I'm looking for number six. We French have enough with one. That is, one at a time. Speaking of wives, uh, what is your first name, Miss Smith? My first name? How do you like Poppy, Mr. Howe? Poppy. That's a flower that's caused my family a lot of trouble. My unworthy great-grandfather, for instance, in the Opium War of 1842. This is my very best friend, Omar. Miss Poppy Smith. And you? Are you an Egyptian, Comprador? No, I'm a doctor. Dr. Omar of Shanghai and Gomorrah. Any relation to the poet, Omar? A book of verses underneath the bow? A loaf of bread, a jug of wine, and thou beside me singing in the wilderness. You said Dr. Omar. Doctor of what? Doctor of nothing, Miss Smith. It sounds important and hurts no one, unlike most doctors. And you're Bernouf. Is it as real as your title? Where were you born? My birth took place under a full moon on the sands near Damascus. My father was an Armenian tobacco dealer and was far away. And my mother, the less said about her, the better. She was half French, and the other half is lost in the dust of time. In short, I'm a thoroughbred mongrel. I'm related to all the earth and nothing that's human is foreign to me. Then perhaps you can explain how our friend suddenly vanished. We were alone since I first saw you. you. Come here often. From now on, I'll be here every evening waiting for you. 
I'm afraid I won't come here again. Then I'll have to take steps to wipe out your image. What steps? There are quite a few steps provided by the management. There's one, for instance. You're wanted at your convenience. The whole district is in Seoul. They're going to call me back and give me the name of the number one man. That's what I thought. Some big speculation in land values is on and they want us out. The name is Sir Guy Charteris. Charteris? Who's that? Find out when he arrived, where he's from. Find his mistakes. Every man makes them. If he's successful, he makes quite a few. It should be easy to find a few things to stop him. A bullet will stop him? Call up the bank and find out what he's worth. No, he's worth plenty. I can tell you that without phoning. Have a photographer in front of his house to get his picture. I want to see what he looks like. See if there's anyone in Shanghai who knows this Sir Guy Charteris. I know him. What are you doing here? Who are you? Your tall friend brought me here and promised me some chow. I haven't even seen the chopsticks yet, let alone the rice. Are you playing at being the caliph of Baghdad again? Another one of your pickups? Seems to be a useful one for a change. Anyway, she'd uh, be in jail by now had I not found her pleasing. Wouldn't you, my little tulip? If you're thinking of putting your little tulip in your button hole, you better get her something to eat. Leave me alone with her. Order some food. Now then, sit down, my child, and tell me what you know about this charter. Well, before I had a beach comb in Shanghai, we had a swell little lake show in Singapore. We really started out in Frisco, and some agent soft soaked us across the Atlantic to Marseille. We lost some of the kids there. We then went to Cairo, and uh, most of them are still walking up and down the pyramids. How do you happen to know charters? I met him in Singapore. He sent his orderly backstage to make a date with me. Orderly? Is he a military man? Oh, no, you know what I mean, the flunky. The fellow does the dirty work. Well, he invites me out to dinner at one of the joints. I bring a girlfriend along to referee, because uh, you never know what you're up against in the clinches. Anyway, it wasn't necessary. He turned out to be a gentleman. Bought me pop and baby orchids. How often did you see him? Oh, a couple of times. Uh, maybe five or six. Uh, of course, I had to see him on the QT. We only went out in the dark. Why? Why? He's a big shot. And like that put us on the ice. Besides, he's got a daughter. Has he? How old is the daughter? About my age, I guess. That's why I couldn't see him anymore. He said his daughter was joining him from a finishing school in Switzerland. So he gave me some money, and I invested it in a ruby, which turned out to be phony. What does he look like? Oh, he's okay. Tallish, about 50. Has a good line, knows what he wants. And, uh, and once in a while, his arm reaches for the ceiling for no reason at all. Just likes to stretch again. Tell me, what color were his eyes? Were they blue? Yeah, I think they were. Are you certain his name is Sir Guy Charters? Sure, his picture was in the paper once. He's the real thing, all right. Wait a minute, maybe I can find the clipping. I think I saved it. No, I guess I threw it away. Beyond the river? That used to be marshy land, uh, full of factories now. It's tower houses. I know, I know. Most of that sector is now ours. And as far as I can see, it's only a question of making it nice and comfortable for the others before they sell. There shouldn't be much delay since our friend here suggests that the city is not averse to the elimination of this quarter. Look here, I told you we were not to be disturbed. Personally, I would recommend that additional funds be added, say 200,000. 
This is Charters. I don't wish to be interrupted again. I'd like to have a new man on the switchboard in the morning. Uh, very good, sir. There's a mother didn't sling who wishes to speak to you. And the person on the other end of the line insists that the phone will ring until you answer. And who is Mother Jin Sling? She runs a casino in the district we're clearing up. Quite an establishment and quite an income. Some of these tenants we're dispossessing seem to have a good deal of power. Well, they'll have less when we're through with them. Let's get on with this meeting. Mother Jin Sling. Quite a name. Sounds like rather a hard character. On the contrary, she's a very charming woman. Is she? the bank. How much have you accumulated? We'll know in a minute. Let's have it cash. Aren't you proud of me, Martha? Am I not a good pupil? It's either that or uh, beginner's luck. This is the beginning and the end. I'm not going to play anymore. Not tonight or any other night. Otherwise, I'd be here for good. What's wrong with that? Do you know a better way to spend your life? There's something you don't know about me. I can stop whenever I want to. Let's go out for a ride. I need some air. Grace, I didn't know I'd won so much. my car. We can't find your chauffeur. Your car is in the garage. I'll have someone else bring it. <laughs> sorry, sir. Car won't move. I'd get me a taxi. I'm trying my best, sir, but they're all taken. How about a rickshaw? A clean one. Fellow, isn't he? Too big to be Chinese. He must be Chinese. Someone else would have put his words. Uh... Bubbling my road, corner of Gordon. Get out! Get out! What is that? Bubbling my road, this way. This way, this way, Balwan. Sure, come a cook, buddy, buddy, buddy. Don't you be worried. That's their guy, all right, isn't he handsome? I should have gone over and talked to him. I'll tell you when I want you to talk to him. So he calls himself Charters. Sure he calls himself Charters. Why shouldn't he? That's his name. Reminds me of my first wife. Money meant absolutely nothing to her, as long as I provided it. Croupier, 17. Oui, he said. Oh, merci, ma'am. 
Bottle of champagne. That was the last of the Mohicans. Now's the time to go after it, my uh, plucked bird of paradise. Well, I use for chips. What about that rope of stones around your neck? I couldn't do that. It's a present for my dad. What do you care? Buy it back when you've won. Your luck's bound to change. You mean bound to get worse. I'm beginning to wonder if I'll ever win. I wonder. Will I get a good price for it? Your question insults the house. We buy and sell everything in the most honorable manner. You're a beautiful woman, puppy. This sparkle is artificial. You won't need it. I wonder how you'd look with your hair down. Misha? What's that in pounds? Seven hundred and ninety English pounds. Minus a few uh, unavoidable deductions. Richest drink you got, comrade. Don't call me comrade. What's rich to one is next to another. You can call me anything you like, as long as you give me something with a cherry in it. I suppose you'd like to add me to your collection. Which uh, number do I remind you of? Number two and number four, except they talk less and weigh more. Boy? I'm not a boy. I'm 49 years old. And my name is Vladimir Nikolaevich Krestovozdvizhansky. My name is Voloshin. Sit down, Hawkins. I want you to send out some invitations for our New Year's Eve dinner. Formal. Very good. White tie, Charles. But you're not going to close on New Year's Eve, are you? I'm only closing a chapter of my life. To begin with, to give the occasion some tone, Lady Blessington. Oh, she won't come. It's easier to have the late Dowager Empress. She'll come. Very good. She'll come. That settles her. See that Jackson, Van Alst, and de Michaud are here. Jackson, Van Alst, and Michaud, they'll kowtow. The Mondragonas. Boy, oh boy. We'll have more fireworks at dinner than in the streets. Put down Sir Guy Charteris. I say, Mother, 
Aren't you putting me to a lot of unnecessary trouble? You'll have an empty table. It will not be empty. We haven't been able even to approach him. How are you going to get him to accept? Kidnap him? Stop behaving like a disabled flamingo and put down Sir Guy Charteris. Very well, but I tell you, he won't come. How much has she lost? Over 50,000 next in the last hour. What about her references? She won't give any, but I think she'll pay. What makes you think so? Omar thinks so too. Omar should avoid thinking. Doesn't suit his personality. I'll go out and see her. Sit down, madam. Good evening, Miss Smith. I hope you're not going to ask for credentials, too. You asked for $50,000. And why not? I might have asked for more. If your credit is good, any sum you wish is at your disposal. My credit is at least as good as yours. I'm sure it's better. But unless you can furnish me with exact references, I can't advance more than, say, um, Five thousand? Five thousand, sweet. Rouge. Black. Fortune can't be forced. You know there's such a thing as good fortune. That note. That note. No, I'll be repaired. Can I have 200 more? Merci, mademoiselle. À bientôt. I'll see you again. Coming, doctor? The game continues. Faites vos jeux. La partie continue. Marquez vos jeux. Faites vos jeux, messieurs, mesdames. Marquez vos jeux. You look better today, Boris. It's a pity she left. Here is your 5,000. Another couple of hours, and I could have paid all my debts. You're plotting your revenge like an engineer. But the blueprints of your guests could have been made more flattering. Especially mine. You'll be on my left. And he'll sit there, opposite me. What is it? Miss Smith wishes more credit. 50,000 more. I told them to give her whatever she wants. No limit. Anything she wants. Thank you. This reminds me of a friend of mine, a general. His staff had planned the battle superbly. He himself was to lead the central attack. On paper, it was perfect. But it turned out differently. He was promptly captured.
Do you wish some more? Will that be enough, my mother? I don't want any more. I've had enough. Faites vos jeux, messieurs, mesdames. Marquons les jeux. Make your best. Here comes your girlfriend. Don't go away, Miss um, Pomeroy. My name is Dixie Pomeroy. Stay here and have another drink. Thanks, but I gotta run along. Business before uh, pleasure. Were you paying for the drinks, or was she paying for them? I can say with pride, I've never paid for anything in my life. Do you think you can keep up that enviable record? Why not? You're not going to make me jealous, are you? I don't make a scene. How can you be jealous of a little chorus girl who doesn't own the clothes on her back? Don't play with me. I won't stand for it. I've been watching you both for an hour. That's why you lose. Why don't you watch the game? I told you not to play with me. Please forgive me. I didn't mean it. Maybe I had too much to drink. Please forgive me. I didn't mean it. Maybe I had too much to drink. I'm sorry. Don't be angry with me. Next. An invitation, sir, to spend the Chinese New Year at the house of this gin sling woman. You see that? I dispossess her, throw her out of Shanghai, and she invites me to celebrate her departure. In my younger days, I shouldn't have refused. Too bad. Send my regrets as politely as you know how. Very good, sir. Answer that phone. Uh, yes? Nobody there, sir. Have that call traced. Uh, very good, sir. I wouldn't go out there if I were you, sir. It might be dangerous. Well, that's the best way to find out if they're aiming at me. Horizon. Rickshaw coolie again. Looks to me like the first shot of an intended 21 gun salute. Give him a coin and tell him I'd like to see him. Very good. Sir. I'm becoming fond of the fellow. We meet again, eh? You savvy English? You speak Chinese, Cantonese? Let me see that invitation. You know anything about this? You, uh, breaking window? You didn't by any chance hear any shots, did you? Boom, boom. See here, if I find you in the vicinity of my house again, I'll have you put in jail. Hmm. I see you do speak English. Wait. Lock him up. That should take care of him. I'll do my very best, sir.
That sounded slightly Russian, didn't it? What did he say? I think he said that no Chinese jail is strong enough to hold him, sir. From what I hear of Chinese jails, he might be right. <laughs> yes, sir. Well, let's get on with the rest of this correspondence. I hope it'll be easier to dispose of. I'm sure it will, sir. Uh, give me that invitation. 8.30. Formal. Mother Jin Sling requests the pleasure of your company at dinner on Chinese New Year. Mother Jin Sling. Hey! Bring me some brandy and sulfur for a change. Chase away the evil spirits. Where's Omar, the tent man? Where's that Persian poet? Behave yourself, Poppy. You're in China and you're white. It's not good for us to see you like this. You'll bring discredit to your race if you continue. Don't preach to me! And let my race take care of itself. What's upsetting you? What's the matter? Didn't I lose enough tonight? So far, you've lost nothing but pieces of paper with my endorsement on them. You wouldn't endorse anything that wouldn't be paid. I know it will be paid. Come, get some sleep. Then you can play some more. Don't touch me. Don't pour me. I have enough money to buy this whole outfit. And everything that's in it. All that counts here is money anyway. But this is the last time you'll see me. Do you understand? The last time. Badly, my sweet. Where is she? Where is who, my little broken-footed antelope? You know exactly who I mean. powder puff doesn't belong to you, does it? Or maybe it's an illusion. Come, quick. 
What does a poet say when he sees a mirage? I'm no authority on mirages or powder puffs. This belongs to Dixie, doesn't it? Since when has Dixie had a monopoly on powder puffs? Oh, don't torture me like this. Victoria, has there ever been any doubt in your mind that I love you better than anything in the world? Why, no, Dad. Why do you ask? We haven't been very close to each other since we came to Shanghai, and it's my fault. You mustn't say that, Dad. You've been busy. You've had other things to do. What's the matter? Something wrong? How do you feel? I'm fine. You know, Dad, I'm always fine. Is everything all right? Anything troubling you? You sound awfully strange. Why do you ask? It's not unusual for me to be solicitous about you. You're all I have, Victoria. And I've spent a good deal of my life trying to protect you from anything that could possibly hurt you. What's wrong, Dad? Is there anything I can do? Are you feeling happy? Yes, I'm happy. What's the matter? I'm sending you back to Singapore, and I'll join you in a week. I've chartered a plane for you. When do you want me to leave? This morning. This isn't much notice, but I make quick decisions. Sometimes they're wrong, but mostly they're right. That's impossible. I can't get ready. Those you are. I'll have your things sent after you. I won't do it. Be here, Victoria. You must do as I tell you. I don't like saying this, but you've overdrawn your bank account. Some of the trinkets I gave you are missing. This morning, a man offered to sell me this necklace. I paid his price without asking any questions. I don't know what you've been doing with your money or with your time. I've always had an instinct about bringing you here, and I'm not going to ignore my feelings any further. I'll join you in Singapore in a little while, and we'll talk about it there and probably laugh about it. Sorry, Dad. Let's forget about it. Take care of yourself, Victoria. Take care of yourself. Okay, Chinese New Year? I like it. Why, Mr. Van Oost, this is indeed a surprise. 
This is the last place on earth I would expect to find you. As long as you are here, Lady Blessing, to honor it with your presence, can't be the last place. You haven't told anyone I own this building. Nice to see you again, Mr. Howe. It's ages since we met. You adore European women, don't you? I wonder why, you old rascal. I love them because they're so intelligent. They have such a sense of humor. My name is Caesar Hawkins. No relation to the Roman emperors. <laughs> May I help to acquaint you with the other guests? Whom would you like to meet? Good evening. I haven't seen you for many months since I had the good fortune of selling you a fine piece of jade. What piece of jade? Oh, nothing. Mr. Howe must be confusing me with someone else. Sir Guy Tartarus. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Dr. Omar. I didn't expect to see you again so soon. Oh, you uh, work here, don't you? Yes, I should have known that. Anyway, I'm grateful that you made it possible for me to repurchase the necklace. I'm grateful to you for the price you paid, Sir Guy. Well. I've seen you again. Miss, uh, Adam Wayman, don't tell me. Watch your steps, Sir Guy. Pomeroy. That's right. <laughs> How did you happen to drift into this cesspool of the Far East? You said it. I never thought I'd see you again, Sir Guy. Are you in trouble? Judging by appearances, I should say you've done very well. well. By a couple of miracles, I broke into the best circles, as you can plainly see. It's a great pleasure to meet you socially, Sir Guy. You know Miss Pomeroy, Mr. Van Oust? Miss Pomeroy. I don't want to disturb you, gentlemen. Quite a crowd. Are you going to be in Shanghai long, Sir Guy? Long enough to settle my affairs, and then I'm returning to Singapore. Happy to see that no one has disappointed me. You will please find your places at the table. I had some figures made in your image. I beg your pardon. That's your place. <laughs> Uh, that may be you, Lady Blessington. A broken doll? That's not me. Dear me, how clever. <laughs> Dear me. Hmm. Is this you or me? Yeah, my hair is white. Your hair is still gray. Head of the table. I wonder why. Oh, you deserve it, sir guy. <laughs> Chinese have for generations specialized in stimulating dishes. Bird's nest from Formosa, seaweed from the inland sea, and shark fins from Gadar. I've also not ignored an appetizer for our male guests.
We're going to auction off the girls to the junkmen. Once in a while, they have to replenish their flower boats. You understand, of course, this is staged purely for the tourists. Shanghai has to live up to its reputation. I say, Mother Ginsling, are you sure those junk fellows down there aren't the real thing? They look awfully convincing. Nevertheless, they're fake. What about those poor little innocents up there? They look really frightened. They're fake, too. They're neither frightened nor innocent. That's an idea. Putting my wives in cages. Never thought of that. Did you tell her we had met in Singapore? Sure, I'd tell the cockeyed world. They'd be so proud of it. Perhaps I should have worn a white tie. I never take any chance. It's Chinese New Year's. <laughs> Did you have to inspect them so closely? I got Norway coming, Charlie. Archie, idiot. Our little Chinese girls used to be sold like that not so many years ago. I'm glad such a thing can't take place again. It couldn't have been so very pleasant. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> this is our New Year's, and we're happy today. As you can judge by the noise outside, it's our most important festival. It's a sacred day. On this day, we pay our debts. And I know of no Chinese who dare incur the ill will of his gods or his creditors by not starting the year with a clean slate. Hawkins, why don't you take the occasion to return the 200 mechs I loaned you in a confused moment? Sorry, old boy, but I'm still using them. Well, there are other New Year's. <laughs> Cigarettes, sir, guy? How long have you had that? Thank you, I prefer my own. Sir Guy, I'm particularly happy to see you here tonight. You have, of course, been in China before, or, or are you new to our customs? Indeed. I'm quite familiar with them. I know the North. In fact, I like it better than the South. It has more... Tradition, more poise, more character and beauty. You too come from the north, don't you? My people were Manchus. Uh, do you prefer this climate? Why did you leave the north? I had little to do with it. I was washed ashore here, picked up on the Shanghai waterfront. Mr. Howell then took me in tow. He saw me stealing some food and he liked me. Later, he gave me enough to establish this, um, gallery. But that was long ago, wasn't it? It was a good investment. She paid it back a hundredfold. I always pay my debt. A hundredfold. There's a tiger for you. And showing her claws. Those claws can stand a bit of trimming. Speaking of the waterfront, you're so pretty, Miss Pomeroy. Are you one of the Pomeroy's who have a villa near Nice? She's a chorus girl out of work, Your Ladyship. And but for the grace of Allah and Mother Jin Sling, she'd be floating down the river. Oh, can the sentiment. Pomeroy's of Nice. Pomeroy's of Flatbush. We had a marvelous villa there. And what a landlord. From Nice to Flatbush is quite a swim. It doesn't matter where we come from. What matters is that we are here. Miss Pomeroy, of course, has never witnessed this charming holiday. Yeah, it's like our Fourth of July. I adore noise. It's so refined. Mario, the car is done. 
Please excuse me. I feel sick and I wish to go home. Sit down. You might become more ill if I should recall to your mind a little incident that took place in Rio five years ago. Don't disturb yourself, Your Excellency. Your wife has a good constitution. And questionable as her career has been, it's no worse than yours. Or do you wish me to amplify that statement? <laughs> Mother Dinsling, you've no idea how happy I am to be here. I'm going into the casino later and drop quite a bit of money. I'm left so often with idle time on my hands, with nothing, nothing, nothing to do. Uh, uh, do tell me, who's going to sit next to me? I hope it's a man, and uh, by the way, who broke this, and uh, uh, why isn't it here? <laughs> that represents a very distinguished young lady who is being sobered up so that she can walk in and take her place at this table. To complete the list of my illustrious guests. Another glass for Sir Guy. Ah! Good gracious! What is it, Lady Blessington? Someone has pinched you, I hope? Oh, indeed not. One, two, three, four, thirteen chairs. I'm going home. You must excuse me. Sit down. Does anyone else wish to leave? I take it, Mother Ginsling, that uh, there's some reason which compels each of your guests to stay. <laughs> there's none which can make me stay. I came to see you out of sheer curiosity. I can appreciate an invitation issued to a man you've been trying to intimidate. Without wishing to give offense, I'll go. Good night, Miss Pomeroy. The Van Alst. Right, Sir Guy. You act as if there were really nothing to compel you to remain, Sir Guy. I thought we might have had a longer chat, but since, as you say, there's no way of detaining you, I'll say good night, Mr. Dawson. How do you know that name? Mr. Dawson has decided to stay, which after all is quite proper considering this dinner was given in his honor. Who are you? What's behind this mask of yours? Look at me. Is my face so changed you no longer know me or do all Chinese girls look alike to you? Look at me closely. The only mask I wear is the mask of time. Surely you didn't expect shining face and blind love to remain in my face forever? I never saw you in my life. The Honorable Sir Guy chooses not to recognize me, but he chooses to drive me out of Shanghai. What a joke. I dare say he wasn't prepared to meet me again. But we do meet again, and on New Year's Eve, when we pay our debts, great and small. You've looked at me a long time now. Do you still say you don't know me? Yes, why should I know you? Wait a minute. No. That's impossible. That girl's dead. trusted you with her life, she is dead. But in her place stands Mother Jin Sling, who is strong, and who now trades in the weaknesses of others, and who because of that has again as many boxes of silver as you once stole from that stupid little fool. Now do you know me? Look at me once more and tell them who I am and why it is that you will leave Shanghai, not I. Yes, I said stole. Dawson was a thief, whatever you may be today. 
That's not possible. You're not... Quickly, tell them the little name of love you used to call the Manchu girl. There were little love names we had for each other then. I was Miss Ladybug, and he was... This is some sort of a trap. There was a woman once, yes, I admit it, but it couldn't have been you. I beg you, let us have no more of this. Be silent, Commissioner. That man's name is Victor Dawson. How he happens to be Sir Guy Charteris, I don't know. Perhaps he'll be kind enough to explain. Yes. Yes, I'll be kind enough to explain. Since she's made a public issue of the past, I think it's only fair to say that she's right. I came to China as a youngster. And because I wanted to make my own way, I dropped my family name and assumed the name of Dawson. And I did marry a Chinese girl. I saw nothing dishonorable in that. And he saw nothing dishonorable in leaving her. He saw nothing dishonorable in taking her money. I was that girl. When I met this Mr. Dawson, I gave him my father's wealth to keep for me. And I gave myself with it. And I gave him a child, poor thing. Then all at once he was gone. I waited. The days were like years. His friends came. I thought they were my friends, too. Then one day I found myself like those caged animals out there. Only there was no fake about that sale. Do you know what the China Sea looks like from a boat filled with passengers without hope? Told to laugh and be gay and kicked into not weeping? A new port every few weeks? Tianjin, Amoy, Canton, Fuchao, and then Shanghai. How could I dream that an hour would come when I could pay him back in full? And how was I to know he would make it so easy? The soles of my feet cut open and pebbles sewn inside to keep me from running away. I don't know what kept me alive unless it was the hope of a nice social evening like this one. Perhaps now I can persuade you to return to your seat, Sir Guy. I'm not through with you yet. to see me here, did you? But planes can turn back, too. Or did I imagine that you put me on a plane? Huh? Are you surprised, Dad, to see your daughter in this company? Somebody give me a cigarette. Go on, Omar, give me a cigarette. Do you know him, Dad? This is the Poet Laureate of Shanghai. Someday I'm going to kill him. Go on, Doctor. Recite something for Dad. Go on. Go ahead. Moving finger writes, and having writ, moves on. Nor all your piety nor wit shall lure it back to cancel half a line. Nor all your tears wash out a word of it. How do you like him, Dad? And how do you like this? Want a cigarette, Dad? 
me thousands. Cheap, though, isn't it? Like a lot of things around here. Looks like she means me, I guess. You don't mind if I overstep my allowance once in a while to make a few presents, do you, Dad? While we're on the subject of presents, Dad, I owe Lady Shylock over there 20,000 English pounds. And I haven't much to show for it, except that dressed-up clown. This whole thing reminds me of an argument I once had with the mother of my second wife. It also was a question of money. What time is it, anyway? No ticky, no watchy. <laughs> I hope, ladies and gentlemen, you'll allow me in my capacity as counselor to point out that there are two sides to every question. Save your breath, Jackson. I require no defense. Whatever I have done is done. Come, we're going. You can't possibly have any reason to detain either of us any longer. We've served our purpose. Um. Don't bother me. I don't want to go yet. Why don't you listen to your father? He wants you to go with him. We Chinese at least bring up our children to respect their parents, to obey them. Even when everything else goes, that remains. I want you to come home. Come over here a moment. Will you come to my office in the morning and pick up a check for 20,000 pounds? Bring it to her. And tell her the funds she claims I took are and always have been in the North China Bank in her name in Tinsin. I'm sorry, Sir Guy. Anything else I can do? Sins of the fathers. Thanks and good night. Why don't you wait a minute? Wait outside. I have a few things I want to settle. There's nothing to settle. The money you owe will be paid. I must say goodbye. I can't run away like this. Mm. You're coming home with me. Why do you treat me like this? I'm old enough to know what I'm doing. Once before you forced me to leave, what good was that? I came back, didn't I? You bossed me all my life, and now you know it hasn't done any good. There were always other people to tell me what to do and what to think. You've had me on a chain all my life. Now I want to think for myself. The only trouble with that chain was that it wasn't strong enough.
I thought I'd be spared the pleasure of seeing you again, Sir Guy. There's no reason why you should remain in my house. The slate is clean. Let me get that girl in there before it's too late. It's already too late. Your daughter is no good for anything. Whatever you take her, she'd be no good. I would have torn down the whole world to get at you, but it wasn't necessary. It was made easy for me because her soul was hollow. Her emotions were cheap. She had no more control than her father had. She had no more honor than he had. Her blood is no good. All right. You're forcing me to something I wanted to avoid. I didn't want to say this before the others. I wanted to deal with it myself, but I can't now. Her blood isn't bad unless yours is bad. Her emotions aren't cheap unless your emotions are cheap. She's not my daughter. She's our daughter. Why do you say such a stupid thing? Our child was gone before it could babble mother. Your daughter is in there. Who would boast of a child being yours? After you disappeared, as you claim, she was picked up for dead and brought to a hospital. I took her far away where the word China has never heard. She doesn't know to this day that she was born in China. Nor did she know, nor did I know, that her mother was still alive. my daughter in there, and I think this should be left to me. All right. See what you can do. I'm not gonna hang around here any longer. Don't either of you leave this room before I'm through with you. Say, don't make it tough for me. I'm just working here. I'm taking orders. There's nothing between us. Of course there's nothing between you. I'm doing you a great injustice. You're just friends. He's protecting you from evil, educating you, teaching you how to convert that cheap tongue of yours into spouting poetry. Well, maybe I haven't had education, but I know how to behave. Making a holy show of yourself, you ought to be ashamed. Everybody goes through troubles. I've had my share. Just because it's tough for us, we don't have to make it tough for others. You can have him as far as I'm concerned. Won't do you any good. A guy like that doesn't help to make life any better. He'd never help you up. He'd only help you down. I sent my soul through the invisible. Some letter of that afterlife to spell. And by and by, my soul returned to me and answered, I myself am heaven and hell. If you want to, you can listen to that Persian tripe. I'm going. Stay where you are. You're not going. Let me go! Get out, Omar. You too, Dixie. Get out of here yourself. They'll stay here. This is my house, and I want to be left alone with you. I don't care whose house it is. They'll stay here until I want them to go. If you can still listen to anything, then listen now. I've just been informed that I'm your mother. What are you talking about? You're crazy. Dixie, get out. And Omar, you too. Go. Don't go, Omar. Don't go. I didn't know what I was saying. Let him go. I have the right to command you. You hear me? I'm your mother. Let him go. What right have you to command me? I have no more connection with you than with a toad out in the street. Mother, why don't you forget that litany? Somebody had to be my mother, but I can tell you one thing. If I had my choice, you'd be the last one on earth I'd pick. Mother Jen Sling. What should we do now? The police will be here. This time we'll not bribe them, will we? You like your tiny New Year?